Hi everyone, how's everyone doing tonight? So today we're gonna actually do an unboxing uh, from Diamond Art Club and it is a square, as you can see. Um, and it's called Moon Goddess. Let me bring it up so you can see. Moon Goddess by Eau Claire Studio. Okay, so all the Diamond Art Club boxes are really, really pretty. Uh, it says scan me to unlock for 10% off. And in the back, it tells you how it works, step by step, and what's inside the kit. And it comes in three languages. You have English, French, and Spanish. All right, so let's turn this baby around. All right. So right now, this painting is actually out of stock. But if you click where it says email me, they will let you know when it is available. Okay. So all the paintings from Diamond Art Club come in a plastic uh, bag to protect it while it's traveling. So let's put that aside for now. They come with two stickers. You use a small sticker and the small sticker, you could either put it on your logbook or you could put it on the top or bottom of your box. Here's the toolkit. So let's open this baby up. And the toolkit is always a surprise because we don't know what um, cover minder we're gonna get or what color pen or washi tape. Okay, and all the square paintings come with tweezers. Okay, it says Diamond Art Club on them. Just be very careful because they are very, very sharp. All right, so it comes with a diamond pen this is a uh, one placer so you could only pick up one drill at a time it comes with a comfort grip let's see if i can put it in sometimes i can sometimes aha uh -huh. so that's the secret okay it's just turning and twisting it okay it's supposed to help with your hands for comfort and then it also comes with well let's move this out of here it also comes with two pl other placers so this one is a four and this one's a seven with the four, you can pick up four place, uh, four drills at a time. And with a seven, you can pick up seven drills at a time. And it comes with a tray. And it comes also with on a, in a heart-shaped container, you have wax in here. I believe there's two in there. This is the cover minder. And the cover minder, I believe it's a macaroon. And it's basically a magnet. So with, all, with the um, canvases or the paintings, it has a plastic covering. You peel the um, the plastic covering back, you take the cover minder, you put it on top of the plastic covering, you take the magnet and you put it underneath the canvas and it holds the plastic while you diamond paint. And then this is the washi tape. It looks like little apples, but I don't think it's apples. See that? And of course, these are resealable bags. This is to put your drills in, in the bags. And so if you are traveling or you're not home or you don't have any um, containers available, you could actually put the drills in these uh, resealable bags. All right, so let's put all this aside so we can look at the painting. Now, all the paintings come in, like I said before, uh, in a plastic bag. So I guess it's just to protect them while they're traveling. And it always says, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle okay and i always say do what makes you happy why not all right so what do we know about the moon goddess well uh i did a little research and i believe that in greek mythology she was known this beautiful moon goddess she was known as selene and in roman uh, mythology she was known as luna which means moon in spanish all right, so let's go back to this very quickly. Ooh, we got two stickers. You know what that means? Yep, lots of uh, colors, 68 colors all together. And it's got four ABs, and ABs are just basically Aurora Borealis. It just means it's a drill with an extra shine. So here's a sticker, it says Moon Goddess. You can put this in your logbook. You put the start date, the end date, and these are pre-cut stickers, so you can put these on your containers. All right, these are just the instructions. And these are the drills. And it says Moon Goddess, just in case you separate the drills, the drills from the painting, you'll know that these drills go with that beautiful painting. All right, we're gonna need space here, guys, because this painting is a big one. So the canvas from Diamond Art Club are very, very soft. So 
as you can see well you can't see but it's like velvety soft all right and it's designed that way and i'm actually gonna roll it back like this and you can do this because it's designed to prevent uh, wrinkling and fraying which is cool and as you can see it has a scallop edge all right so now actually let's just keep it like this for now wait so on the top it says do what makes you sparkle okay diamond art club and it usually has two legends so let me open this oh my gosh it is gorgeous wow it is big too guys okay so here's a legend and the legend basically well we need we have glare here let's get this glare out of the way okay and the first row it tells you it has 60 let me move this up it tells you it has 68 colors and then the middle one it just has the symbols and the symbols is what you find in the painting and that's where you're going to place the drills and then the color code is basically the dmc numbers wow all right and it's the you have the legend also on the other side on the right hand side of the bottom and on the bottom of the painting it just has a picture it says dac moon goddess it's 20 oh, oops sorry it's 22 inches by 33 inches, which is 55.8 centimeters by 83.7 centimeters. Au Claire, Au Claire Studio Diamond Art Club. And then in the middle, it says you take 10 for 10 percent of your next order. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. And over here you have the lifetime warranty, which is a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, a free diamond spill insurance and 10% cash back rewards with every order all right so let's see so like I was mentioning before uh, moon goddess in Greek she was known as Selene and in Roman she was known as Luna which means moon and she's usually she was usually represented as having a crescent moon on her forehead but here you can't see it on her forehead and also um, driving a two horse chariot. She was also often associated with nocturnal, <coughs> excuse me, nocturnal magic, secrets and mysteries. Yes. All right. So when we look at the moon goddess, well, first thing I thought is that she basically is the protector of the moons and um when i look at this painting we have a full moon here and then we have a crescent moon so i started thinking okay well um there's 12 phases right there's 12 phases of the moon but um the astronomers have actually broken it down into four primary moons so one of them is the full moon and another one is the crescent moon so yeah anyway she's absolutely gorgeous guys she has lots of flowers she's got i believe that these are two earrings more flowers here her face is very it looks like she's got like glitter on her face to make it look shiny um and the moon the moon has lots of decorations on it which i love let's see if you can see that see that it's just gorgeous there's a feather all the way at the bottom you see stars, flowers, and of course the dark sky. And then of course here, she's got like a crown on her forehead. So maybe underneath that, there's a, a crescent moon, which you can't see because she has a crown. And it looks like she's very focused. She's got, she has her eyes closed. She's just gorgeous. Love all the colors around here, all these blues. So I don't know where she's at. She could be in a, in a planet where there's more than one moon. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Now I can tell you something, guys. The background, there is color blocking, right? So you see there? Color blocking, which means that you don't have to change the drill. It's going to be the same drill. But then when you look at the moon and everything in the middle, well, mostly the flowers and the moon, if you can see that, it is confetti heaven which means that you're gonna have to constantly change the drills wow absolutely gorgeous guys so i'm gonna put her aside so we can look at the drills 
All right, let's begin. 156 is blue, violet, medium, light. So I think you can see it right there. All right, 158, cornflower, blue, medium, very dark. We have a lot of colors, guys. 159, blue, gray, light. 161 is blue, gray. 169, pewter, light. 208, lavender, very dark. 221, shell pink, very dark. 223, shell pink, light. Okay. And then 310 is black. And we have three, four, five, six bags of 310. That's probably for the background. Three twelve is wedge. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I skipped the one. Three eleven wedge wood, uh, ultra very dark. Three twelve baby blue very dark. We have three bags. I mean, I'm sorry, two bags of three seventeen is pewter gray. Three eighteen is steel gray light. 327 violet dark two bags of 336 which is navy blue so far lots of purples and blues and grays okay two bags of 413 which is pewter gray dark can you see this one here i'll put it over here 414 is steel gray dark 415 is pearl gray. 452 is shell gray medium. 453 is shell gray light. 517 is wedge wood dark. 518 is wedge wood light. So you have the dark and the light. 550, violet, very dark. 597 is turquoise, which is a pretty color. And 677 is old gold, very light. 738 is tan, very light. 739 is tan, ultra, very light. 792 is cornfla cornflower blue dark and 798 is delf blue dark let's do the 800s 803 is baby blue ultra very dark 820 is royal blue very dark i think we can have one more row here 822 is beige gray light Okay, so 823, we have two bags of 823, which is navy blue dark. 825 is blue dark. 826 is blue medium. 839 is beige brown dark. 841 is beige brown light. 844 is beaver gray ultra dark okay so i'm going to move these out of the way because we need the space but as you can see so far uh like i mentioned before you have lots of grays lots of blues so far all right let's move these out of the way push those over there okay next we're doing the 900s now. 924 is gray, green, very dark. I love this color. 930 is antique blue, dark. Can you see it there? Right there. 939, we have three bags of 939, which is navy blue, 
um, very dark. And 951 is 20 light. All right, so we're going to need the rest of the colors. All right. 3041 is antique violet medium. 3042, antique violet light. Ooh, how pretty. 3072 is beaver gray, very light. 3371 is black brown. Almost finished, guys, believe it or not. All right, 3721 is shell pink dark. 3722 is shell pink medium. 3747 is blue violet, very light. 3752 is antique blue, very light. 3760 is Wedgwood medium. 3787 is brown, gray, dark. 3790 is beige, gray, ultra dark. 3799 is pewter, gray, very dark. All right. 3807 is corn flower blue. 3834 is grape dark. Pretty. 3835 is grape medium. 3830 is lavender blue dark. 3839 is lavender blue medium. 3840 is lavender blue light. And 3842 is wedge wood, very dark. 3861 is cocoa light. And the last one is 3864 is mocha beige light. All right. Again, lots of blues, lots of grays, and lots of purples. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful colors, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, I think I did. This is a square, and squares are not my favorite, but this was such a beautiful painting, and it only came in square, so I just had to grab it. All right, so here we have the ABs, and we also have a Fairy Dust Diamonds. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, in white. And so we have 101 AB. It's like a very pretty blue. And this uh, AB means Aurora Borealis, which means uh, it just has a sh extra shine on the drill. All right, and 121, it's like a purple. 136, it's a very, very pretty blue. Love the shine on this one. And 106 is sort of like a beige. Very pretty. All right, so we're going to bring back the painting and we're going to figure out where these beautiful ABs and fairy dust diamonds go. All right, let's see. We're going to make sure that we get all the uh, drills over there. We don't want them getting in the way. The painting. I'm telling you guys, this painting is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so 101, if you look at the legend, 101 is going to be symbol number one so wherever you see number one this is where this and it's not a lot so let's see okay i see already um I'm trying to see if there's some of the flower here nope there's some here and let me look at the picture that that looks like it's part of her hair yeah she's got beautiful long hair by the way guys and the crown oh my gosh the crown is very very ornate beautiful and so is the moon by the way and the sparkle oh it's just absolutely gorgeous okay let's see so one so we said one there um let's see anywhere else you have some ones here okay and let's move this back because you can see the glare sorry about that forgot about the glare there's some one in the moon on the moon um slide this up any on her face there's some ones here ones here ones here um, let's see down here nope oh well some here some here okay all right 
so then the next one is 106 which is number two on the legend and i see it already it's going to be on the stars wow guys and those are beautiful big stars there's some on the feather here again some on the flower right here on all the big stars it's all over the moon on the crescent moon wow that's gonna be so shiny and it's some on her earrings some on her shoulder well let me move it up some right here on her shoulder but this is her neck and she's got jewelry i believe this is part of her sleeve or her outfit wow okay and we have some here on her face so she's gonna have shine on her cheek on her nose around her mouth on her chin on her forehead wow guys and on the flowers oh and on the moon also on the round moon that is really really pretty a b all right this one is 121 this is going to be symbol three i love what they did with the um with the shine in this okay so uh three three i'm checking where are you three Hmm. Is it down here? Three, three, three. Where are you? Huh. I did see it earlier. Now I can't find it. Aha. Uh -huh. Right here. There's some threes here. And I believe. Is that part of her hair? No. And that's just part of the dark sky there. Okay. Not too many of those guys. All right. Let's put that over there for now. And then the next one is 136, and that's symbol four. Symbol four. Let's move that over there for now. Okay, over here. It's all around, around the moon. Um, do we have any? Oh, here's some threes from earlier. Okay, which is this one. Is it 120? Yeah, right here. There's some threes here, some threes here. All right, so let's go back to symbol four. And let's see, we're looking to see where this beautiful AB goes. I said maybe down here on the stars. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. All right, so let's move on to the next one. And the next one is the um, fairy dust diamonds. And that's going to be the dot wherever you see a white dot and I see it already it's going to be on the little stars so they're going to be twinkling uh, in the sky this is absolutely gorgeous guys and it's so well rendered the te the details of this painting it's amazing I'm trying to see if I see some down here so it looks like the, these are just the dots wherever you see the dots are stars twinkling stars guys love the way they decorated the moon i just absolutely love it i'm just gonna bring it up so you can see how clear it is it's well it's actually excellent the way they rendered this painting the details mama mia it's absolutely gorgeous let me just bring it up so you can see her face look at that face and that crown and the moon absolutely stunning this picture i mean this painting all right so i hope you guys love this painting as much as i do and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful uh, rest of the week and thank you and bye bye